Hi, I am Dustin. I am a curated golf expert. I've helped hundreds of golfers with their game by finding them the right equipment. Today we are reviewing the Callaway Rogue ST Max LS driver. This one is a 10 and a half degree and it comes with the Mitsubishi 75 Flex X series shaft. Just so you know, I am not sponsored by any brand and all my reviews are unbiased. So Callaway claims that this is the longest, most forgiving driver ever. And let me tell you, uh, this thing is pretty awesome. My first impression of this club is really the forgiveness off the mishits. I will be honest, I missed hit a few shots here and the ball still flew. Uh, you really feel a true impact no matter where you hit it on the face. And the ball really does jump off of this. So the only really unique thing about the Callaway drivers are they do actually have a alignment shape. The Callaway logo right there really helped line it at address. It also has a carbon fiber uh, top piece as well, which gives us a pretty cool look. So the sound and the feel of this club and impact are great. Uh, they sound really pure and solid. Uh, even on the miss hits, you're gonna get a really solid feel and solid sound. So you're not gonna totally know exactly when you miss hit it, which is actually a pretty good thing if you're uh, looking for consistency. You're still gonna get the distance you're looking for and it has a lot of forgiveness behind it. Uh, my impressions of the club is that this lived up to all the expectations that I, I thought it would. I love the look of it. You can tell it's very aerodynamic. I love the large face on it. The composite top, the matted look is just is absolutely clean looking too. So we have the jailbreak technology in the face. Uh, it's going vertical and horizontal now. And we have the composite top that's supposed to reduce the weight in it. And then it has this almost like a, not like a cyclone shape, but um, a very aerodynamic shape to it. So all of these things combined are an increased club head speed, is an increased ball speed with the tungsten speed cartridge in the back. The high MOI in the face is to make it super stable. The super stable face is to make it more forgiving on miss on off center hits as well. So all of those things translate to more fairways and more distance. This driver is adjustable. Um, you can adjust the loft and you can make it a little bit more dry, draw bias if you would like. This is definitely better for the low handicap golfers or people that come super steep into the ball. So golfers that are coming down on top of it and generating a lot of backspin, this is an option for you. I would definitely, you know, I would loft it down, put it in the draw setting and try it because that will negate some of that backspin and might give you a little bit more of a piercing ball flight instead of the floaty, spinny ones that you hit. Or just for people with really fast swing speeds that are just looking to drop their speed, uh, uh, spin rate down a little bit. I wouldn't put this in really high handicap golfers ex for the exception of people that come in steep. What people that are looking to optimize forgiveness or trying to um, find more fairways is may not be the best option for you. Something like the Rogue ST Max would be ideal for most people that are trying to find more fairways and get more distance. No, there really aren't many drawbacks. I mean, the, for some people they might wish it, it'd be more forgiving, but for being a low spin head, it is exceptionally forgiving. And today we are talking about the Rogue STLS Triple Diamond. First impressions of the head is it's smaller. It's um, about 20 cc smaller than the other, other driver heads. Um, so it's more compact, so it has more of that teardrop traditional shape to it. It has the 20 gram speed cartridge instead of the 23. The LS has the 23, the Triple Diamond has the 20. And the center of gravity is pushed all the way to the very, very front as well. If, you know, for being a, such a low spinning head, it is incredibly stable. Um, it is definitely the least forgiving of all of their models, but considering it is the least forgiving driver head of all their models, it has a very high MOI. You see the forgiveness across the entire face. Um, miss hits are still really punishing, but not nearly as punishing as you would expect them to be. The feel was very, very solid across the entire face. They had a lot better feedback than the original Rogues. So the original Rogues, in my opinion, had didn't matter if you hit it on the heel or, or the toe or on the heel. Um, you didn't know where you hit it. I couldn't tell you where in the face I hit it. This one, you could definitely feel where you're missing the ball on. It felt really, really compact, really solid. It was kind of a muted tone at impact. It wasn't super loud. It wasn't a loud crack like the Epic Flash is. Definitely a little bit more muted. It's not gonna, you know, somebody two tee boxes over is it gonna hear you hit the driver. Uh, this is gonna be best for those really low handicap golfers that have a consistent driver swing. So somebody who can really hit the center of their face consistently will benefit from this. Uh, it's gonna give them the trajectory they're looking for, keep the spin rate very low, and really get the max carry out of their shots. So this specific driver would not be great for a high handicap golfer, or really any golfer that struggles to hit the sweet spot on their club face. The off-center shots on this club are not gonna travel the same distance. Uh, you're gonna have a pretty high dispersion, 
across the fairway and you're probably gonna miss some fairways if you're not consistently hitting the center of the face. So the biggest drawback from this club really is the low spinning setup for it, right? So it is designed for a specific type of golfer. You're gonna be pretty limited. If you're trying to hit something high to, with a lot of carry, this is definitely gonna keep your spin rate down. This model is adjustable for the loft and you can make it slightly draw bias or slightly open, but it doesn't have the 10 gram weight sliding across the, the face here. The only drawbacks would be that it's just not the most forgiving driver on the market, but you're looking at a super low spin head, you're not gonna be getting forgiveness from a super low spin head. Overall, I thought the driver was absolutely fantastic. It was a lot of fun to hit, and it really performed. The ball speeds on it were incredibly fast. When it flew off the face, you just knew. You blinked and you missed it. I wish it was more forgiving. It is definitely for that one percentage of golfers that, is just, that are elite ball strikers. It, it, it was a great club. I really enjoyed hitting it, and um, you probably won't see this in everybody's bag. Um, but it is definitely an option if you're trying to really lower spin and you notice your misses are more vertical than horizontal. If you would like to chat with me about whether or not any of these clubs are right for you, visit my profile at curated.com. If you like this video, hit subscribe to watch more videos by Curated.